you present to the judges. Um, so make sure you introduce yourself and your project and, um, and have a lot of fun. Okay, thank you. Um, so I actually did say I was going to do a science project, but I switched to social studies. Um, so actually, so I uh, did a social science on donating and how, what the effects of that are with in-person and online. And so I um, collected the information um, in steps that I made a sequence of, but first I had some questions when I was conducting my experiment. My first question was, will we get more donations online or in person? And my second one was, what is the average money someone donated in person or online? And so my sequence to like pretty much doing my entire project was number one, deciding to do it. And then number two, I made a campaign online for the online half of the experiment. Number three, we printed out posters for the in-person. And then we went house to house to see if there were home. And if they were, I'd ask them if they would like to donate. And um, if they weren't, I just left a um, poster at their door or in their mailbox if they didn't, if they had a gate. And so, um, Next, we did a very small number on April 25th. Then we printed a lot more on May 2nd to do the bigger half. And then based on our information, we put together um, some charts. And um, here's our first chart. So this chart right here, I don't know if you can see that too well. I guess that's good. Um, this shows um, what percentage of in-person and online donated. If it's red, that means that the person that they didn't donate. So on in-person, six there's sixteen blue, five red, five people out of twenty-one people did not donate. Either um, they said don't think about it, they'll do it online or no thank you. And in paper only, no one donated. And so we did all 80, right, because that they didn't donate. And then um, I have four more charts here. Our next, my next chart is the fraction of total donations by methods of fundraising. My two methods, blue, in person only and red which there's none the white lines red and that's zero percent blue's a hundred percent because we only got donations doing it in person and red zero percent because we have not received any online donations yet and uh yet and then we stopped taking donations by may 15th but our information collected now we put into the science page okay next chart so this chart shows the fraction of people that ended up donating eventually. So this shows that in person, 76% of the people ended up donating if they said like maybe or something, but 0% paper because no one actually even donated on paper. And then my second class chart is our average donated. So this shows that uh, our average is $23.63 for in-person, and our average for paper is zero because we didn't get any online donations. And our rounded up average is $24.00. And so for my last chart I have, it's how many donations did people give in at different amounts? So right here, I um, so one person gave one dollar, one person gave two dollars, two people people gave ten dollars, one person gave fifteen dollars, five people gave twenty dollars, 
Two people gave $25, zero people gave $30, zero people gave $35, one person gave $40, zero people gave $45, and three people gave $50. And so that um, is all the charts I have today. And we, I discovered from my um, project that we're more likely to get a donation if we do it in person. And um, that's, yeah. Um, are there any questions? Nice job. Good like job, bud. You did a lot of hard work. And uh, the first thing I want to say is that I think your graphs are really awesome. That is a really good tool to have to be able to collect data and then visualize it so that people can see what you did. Thank um, you. So those are those are really good. So you should be proud of that. Thank you. Um, so, do you know why? Like the don't do, do you have any like an idea of why the donations fell like happened the way that they happened? Well, um, like so say you were trying to raise money for a charity. What would you recommend to them? So, well, actually, we already weren't doing a donation, and this is just an add-on to that. But um, are you like wondering why? You wouldn't get that. Why I didn't get any online donations or something? Yeah, like do you think there's there's reasons behind oh, it? Oh, so um, I think that. So I think that um, if you go up to their door and they're actually there, they'll get to know what you're trying to do and like the details of it. But if you get, just leave it at someone's door or something like that, it could easily get lost, or someone could easily say like. I'll deal with this later, and then they just never look at it. And so I just think that um, they just, it's easier to see if people, like, are willing to donate when you're, like, right there. And they're, like, because then they'll actually know it's right there, and they just can't uh, pass it aside for, like, next year or next week because you're standing right there. That's a really cool observation. Wow. I'd never done this before, so thank you for sharing with us. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you for sharing with us this whole science project. It's really, really cool. I, I wanted to do something like this. So I appreciate you giving me all this information. You're welcome. The graphs are also very cool. I agree with Billy. Yeah, and great job thinking through this. And I love how you made a hypothesis. You went out. <clears throat> Excuse me, you went out and collected data, produced results, and showed them to us. So you did a really great job putting this all together and presenting it to us. Thank you. I'm actually very surprised no one donated online because I feel like that would have been easier for people. Then, but I guess it's not. Yeah, it just goes to show you that sometimes that's why you do the experiment, right? Because sometimes it's not what you would expect. Yeah. Um, that's, that's why you got to do it. So yeah, that's that's a really good uh, like kind of lesson there is that um, even when you think it might go one way, the real world might work a different way. So that's why you always got to go find the results. So yeah. you got some really good experience here doing that. And you think of some situations where online would actually um, be the best way, or you know, is there like a special group of people that you should target with online? Well, I'm not really sure about that. Um... But uh, I wasn't so, I don't really know what you mean by that. If there's like a certain place you should like target if you're online. What do you yeah, mean by yeah. that? Sorry, I uh, phrased that poorly. I was just thinking um, the last fundraiser I did, um, I was able to send out an online donation thing to some of my family that lives on the other side of the country. Um, so can you think of some other things like that where, you know, you might want to change what you're doing? Yeah, well, um, there, there could have been the case where it could have gotten around in a different area and that would have been a lot better because different people knew about it. But in this case, um, I didn't really have the resources to get it spread out. The word was super spread out. So, um, 
All I could really do was tell family, neighbors, and friends. And okay. I guess, yeah. And if you're wondering, we had a goal to try and get $500. We got $378. So that's, I guess, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Do you have any hypo other hypotheses or questions about this kind of topic? Well, I'm still trying to wonder, like, is it easier for people to, um, like, give you cash? Because, like, I know some people don't really keep cash on them. Like, they put it in a bank account or a savings account. And so, um, I didn't know that people wouldn't choose. Because my hypothesis was actually, um, far off. I actually said, as my hypothesis, that we'd probably get one or two more donations online. But we got like 17 in person. We got a total of 21 people, 16 donations in person. And so I'm just really shocked that no one um, uh, donated online. And I have a question about that, and I just don't know what to say, but I just want to know why that would be easier for them. But, um, also my hypothesis was that, um, people would donate more online because they had more time for it on, like, weekends, but, uh, well, I guess it was a Sunday and, like, people aren't really home because they do stuff on Sundays, but that's why I'm surprised it didn't work online because I left a flyer for every single person which was, uh, I printed 105 flyers. And I gave out 80 flyers, as you saw on um, this chart. It said, you see the big eight brick that has, has the number 80 on it? Those are how many um, paper-only flyers I gave out. And it, the whole brick is red because no one donated yet. And, um, yeah, my question for that is just why, but I haven't really found an answer to that question. Well, yeah, I'd encourage you to keep searching this. Don't, uh, that's part of the fun is that, um, there's always another question to ask. So, yeah, keep, keep working at it, and I think you have a really good project, and, um, thank you for presenting to us. You're welcome. Uh, uh, thanks for sharing. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. And maybe the PTA will also uh, take your your evidence into account when we're doing our next fundraising. <laughs> yeah, been, okay. It's been a hard year for fundraising since a lot of in-person events haven't been happening. But I think um, you are on the right track that in-person fundraising often works better than um, yeah. than online fundraising. So, um, so yeah, I encourage you to asking those questions and maybe you can even go back to the people that you sent the paper flyer to and ask them that question yeah why didn't you donate yeah if you get any answers i got that maybe suggestion that. <laughs> you know, like yeah that's all right well thank you so much for spending some of your night with us and uh being part of the science fair you're welcome uh, good have job, a great buddy. rest of your evening yeah. all right bye bye, bye.